Testing, testing. Okay, I think this works. Hello, guys, my name is Kent, and today I will be doing 6.33 for um, the Stuart 7th edition book, I think it's called. Okay, so number three. Um, use the cylindrical shells method to find a volume uh, of this given stuff rot rotating about the y axis. So we're given y equals. <clears throat> 3 over 6, y equals 0, and x equals 1. So it's always good to start out by just graphing this. So let's graph it. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so the first thing that we know is that y equals zero. So we'll make this line our y equals zero line. Ignore this. Um y equals zero. Okay. Y equals zero line. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I need to uh so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Alright. So at um this is equal to this right here is equal to x to the power of one third. So I know that one is just going to be one. And then let's see, we need to do, uh, we need to make make an x equals one line, which is just a vertical line like this. And then I'll label this y. Oh no. <coughs> x equals 1. Alright, and already we see that, oh, it should change this color. We see that the y um, equals x to the power of 1 third equation has already hit it, uh, the section here. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be using this, um, this section here. And we're going to rotate it around the y-axis. So it's going to look something like uh, this is going to be a bad drawing, but I think it's going to be like this or something. This. Okay. All right. So um, to do this, we use the uh, the equation for the cylindrical shell thingy. So first I always start off with my integral then 2 pi because I always know that 2 pi is going to be there. Now <clears throat> so the equation to find a cyl cylinder uh, or the surface area area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h now this makes sense because 2 pi r is the circumference of the circle and the height is the height of the h is the height of the cylinder so what this equation uh, what this integral or does is that <clears throat> it basically finds slices of of the cylinder okay and I know it's hard to imagine but try to Anyways, uh, so we know that 2 pi is here. Next, we need to find the r. Now, the radius is just going to be whatever is out. Uh, how do I say this? The radius is, go is just going to be x. All right? Oh, yeah, uh, I forgot. So this integral is going to be from 1 to 0, or 0 to 1 because we know the ending point is 0 because that's where it, it uh, intersects with the y equals 0 equation and we know that's 1 because that's where it intersects with the x equals 1 equation alright <clears throat> next up we need to find the height now to do that well we know that this right here would already be the height so and this to, to get whatever this point is, all we need to do is we use the equation given to us, which is oops, x 
one third. All right, so x one third times x times uh, dx because we all, always need our dx. So here, this is going to be our height. This is the radius. All right, and this is the two pi. This thing right here. Okay, next, um, let's make it easier so that we could find the antiderivative of this. So x times x one third, it's going to be x four thirds, because you're adding the x exponents dx. Next, uh, we just find the integral of this, so it's x seven thirds times 3 over 7 is that right because it cancels out alright okay so this is our integral here and then next we just find the limits so we plug in 1 it's going to be 3 over 7 because 1 to the power of 7 over 3 is just 1 and 1 times 3 equals 3 and 3 is 3 over 7 then 0 we can already look at this and see that it's just going to be zero, so there's no point. So next, you want to multiply this by two pi. So it's three over seven. Oops. <clears throat> Times two pi equals six pi over seven, and this is the the volume of the um, what is it called? Volume of the thing that's created. Volume of the shape created by um, the the area here revolving around the y-axis. So this is in units cubed because it's the volume. Let's see if we're right. So six pi over seven. All right, and that's how I did number three. I hope this helps. Bye. Oh, wait, I need to stop.